Venti, stop. Stop taking listener away from me. Huh, what? You've been hugging them all night long. Don't you think it's a little unfair for you to hug them? No, it's not unfair at all. Uh, give me my turn too. Stop kissing them. You started it. I'm trying to remain civil with you, Venti. Can you not test my patience? I've been living in agony my whole life. Can't I have this one thing for myself? No, because there's three of us here, and you can't just hog listener. Lament. Ah, <sighs> listener, don't you think it's a lot better being hugged by me? I'm cute and small and soft. And I'll never bore you with talks of eternal damnation and suffering. Excuse you, listener gets all hot and bothered when I talk about my problems. Don't you, listener? There's nothing hotter than a guy who yells useless all the time, right? Ah. <sighs> I feel like the odds are being turned against my favor right now.、Mm -hmm. You can have listener in the morning when I have to leave to conquer demons. This is all the time I'll have with them, so give us some space, okay? Grr! Only 'cause you're a cutie, Xiao. I'm a what? You heard me. You're a cutie. I, Venti. You're making me blush. <laughs> That's what I'm good at.、Uh, now I feel bad. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we can share a little bit, but you only get listener's arm, okay? Listener's left arm. That's all I'm giving to you. The rest of listener is mine. Um, Xiao. You make it sound like we're handing listeners limbs around at a market fair. That's not what I. Ugh, take it or leave it. Oh, fine, fine. At least I get to drool on listeners' arm as I fall asleep. <laughs> mm. Good night, Venti. Good night, Chow. Don't hog, okay? You should tell yourself that. I always wake up after getting kicked onto the floor. <sighs> You're exaggerating. I don't do that. You just fall off 'cause you're drunk all the time. Chow, are we gonna go to sleep? Or continue arguing, hmm? Okay, okay. Good night for real.、Uh, and listener, turn your face here for a bit, will you? Mm. 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 Mm.
Get over here, Xiao. I'm gonna beat you up. Venti, are you sure this is how you want things to go down? Just because you saved my life doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. You might be a demon conqueror, but I'm the animal archon, you know. Besides, I have a secret weapon. That is, my height. After all, you're shorter than me. I'm not shorter than you. <sighs> Listener. Your boyfriend is so violent. He's so loud and scary. Please, won't you defend my honor? <sighs> Listener, you can't be falling for that. He just said he was gonna beat me up a second ago. Listener, he's scary. Won't you kiss me till I feel safe enough to sleep, listener? Hello. Why do you look so? I think they're probably meditating. We were making too big of a fuss, huh? You were making a fuss. I'm only here, trying to get my share of them. You know, Venti, we should really tend to listener right now, instead of arguing. Eh, I think listener will be fine. If they chose to meditate, let's not bother them any more than we already have. Besides, I'm sure we'll both get scolded if we disturb them. Anyway, <laughs> Xiao, since we're here right now, and listeners out of it, you might as well give me your lips. My, it's no good if we keep smooching listener while they're trying to find inner peace. Plus, I was gonna ask listener for a good time tomorrow, but that's definitely off the table after all our noise making tonight. So, what I'm getting at is, you should take responsibility for me. Don't you think? <sighs> you damned bard! <sighs> well then, get the hell over here! <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 